All right, guys. Um, I wanted to show you what I did ultimately with this Antec case. But I also want to show you something that I did to try and protect my EVGA GTX 1070 for the win, which if you're not aware of, apparently has been having some overheating issues with the VRMs. So this is the case, as you can see. Very spacious, lots and lots of um, good bits in it. What I've done, now look, this is absolutely nothing fancy by any means, but it was just more of a proof of concept than anything else. So uh, D5 pump built in with a reservoir. Um, EK3600, uh, sorry, 360 radiator. Um, just some generic old school thermal tank water block. Um, Z68 motherboard. And this is a GTX 1070 for the win edition, which I have put on a standalone water block, all right? And then I've put on this particular um, heat sink here on the VRM, and then I've also um, put thermal tape and a couple of heat sinks here just on the back as well. Now I've got a fan here cooling the back plate, and I've got a fan here cooling the front plate. Um, and uh, performance temperature-wise, this is awesome. The CPU never goes above 40 degrees, even running at 4.5 gigahertz and the GPU never goes above 45 degrees as well, um, even running at max overclock, which is about 2.075 megahertz. So, in case you've forgotten, our case has the two um, RGB fans on it, um, plus there's a, just a black fan there. I don't have any fans on the top here. It's just open and then the back's open, but yeah, so that's kind of what I did. Um, this CPU, uh, th this system actually kicks ass. Um, it will run um, Forza Horizon 3 on 4K at 60 frames per second on Ultra. So, yeah, pretty good. Anyway, there's a bit of an update. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks.